Hi everyone, so I am in Liverpool, Paige's got dance tonight, so I got myself a McDonald's for my day. Now, I didn't get any chips or anything, um, but I got, oh, I got some chicken selects, oh my god. So I got the chicken share box, so you get 12 chicken nuggets and 6 chicken selects. Is that just for you, Becky? I don't really care if you don't get french fries with something as if that's like a dub or a win in some way, dude. I mean, it's great. It's amazing that somehow you managed to not get french fries. I mean, I don't even know how that's possible given that we're literally talking about Becky Jones when 95% of every meal that she eats is literally french fries. I don't... I honestly have no idea how she manages to include it in so many foods. Like, she'll get anything and be like... All right, guys, as you know, today I'm doing my horseshoe diet, so I'm going to be eating horseshoes for the next three weeks. But, you know, of course, I had to have the chips on the side, guys. You know how it is. So, here we go. A little chippy. A little chippy. That's her. Every single time. But, I guess she went to Mickey D's and she managed to not get french fries, which is an anomaly. That's like the number one thing that everybody gets from McDonald's. Like, everybody knows that McDonald's french fries are the best. They're a little bit soggy and, uh... The consistency of them are questionable depending on when you get them, but uh, I think it doesn't really matter given that you got, what is this, the 12-piece box or whatever she said it was, dude? Like, what, what, what? And you know what? I, I also have a problem, too. Anytime I ever see Becky doing anything, it's almost always her going out for her cousin's dance recital or whatever, and she always manages to eat something beforehand, but when I see the videos of the dance recital... She's she's not doing anything. She's just sitting down in one of the chairs that they give to them so they can watch other people dance. And then in the middle of it, she finds ways to eat tons and tons more food. So you're eating the food beforehand, which is ginormous, by the way. Massive. A lot of food here. And then you're going to eat more food in the middle of the dance recital. And then I know you're going to get more food after that, given that you upload four, five, six, seven times a day. And each one of them is like takeout every single time. So you're literally eating takeout. So you're eating food before you eat food just to eat food. Like, how many times you got to eat in a day? I really want to know what the gap looks like when it comes to the the uh, the, 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 the in-betweens of the meals. Is it like, what, five, ten minutes? Like, huh, you eat so frequently, Becky. But anyway, let's get into this disaster of Becky's life. Um, you got two dips. Now, you know, McDonald's, not very happy. You took away my sour cream and chive dip. So I think Becky should just chill back on critiquing McDonald's at this point. I mean, it really doesn't matter, Becky. Like, you, you're you upset about the dip out of everything, dude. You should be upset what they did to your stomach. You, you should be upset what they did to your mouth. It was sweet chili because the garlic mayo one just not up to scratch. And um, so, yeah, um, got this. Damn. Mmm. I never get chicken nuggets from McDonald's. I don't care. Like, the amount of times that Becky says, I've never gotten something, and then proceeds to eat the same thing that she's talking about she never got, like, two weeks ago. And she uploads a lot of videos. It's not like people can't look back and see that she's eaten chicken nuggets from McDonald's, like, a week ago or two weeks ago. But I guess it really doesn't matter. She likes to use this as a way to justify her eating whatever she's eating. And I peep this a lot when it comes to many, many people that also do this same practice. Like, for instance, Amber Lynn or Foodie Beauty, they'll sit there and they'll say... Uh, you know, oh, I haven't eaten this in a long time, or I've never eaten this before. And then that, because they have never eaten it before, or the one I love the most is somebody told me to buy this on my live stream three weeks ago, and I decided that I was going to do it because that one person said that I should, which I see no indication of anybody ever saying that. And even if somebody did tell you to do something, does that mean that you do it? Like, isn't that the number one lesson that your parents teach you when you're like three or four years old? If somebody tells you to go jump off a cliff, are you going to jump off a cliff? No, obviously not. So if somebody goes to tell you to try the 12-piece munch box from McDonald's, do you go and try it? I guess, if you're Becky, apparently, right? I guess. But I hear this a lot. I've never had this before. I haven't had it in a long time. So let me go ahead and try this delicacy at Mickey D's, which, uh, you know what? She doesn't need an excuse, honestly. Like, just go ahead and eat whatever the fuck you want to eat. It doesn't matter. I've literally seen you justify this shit as if it means anything to you. You obviously don't care. You're going to eat whatever you want regardless. But go off, queen. Hashtag slay queen edges. Mm. I never get chicken nuggets from McDonald's. Um... All time, I'm not gonna eat all this. I, you know, again, dude, I don't really give a fuck. Again, like, you're sitting there telling me you're not gonna eat all this. Please tell me what that even means. Are you not gonna eat all this in the five minutes that you got it? Are you not gonna eat all this, like, right now? Is Are you gonna eat it while you're watching the dance recital? What does it mean, I'm not gonna eat all this? And why do you feel the need to tell people that? 
Hmm? Hmm, Becky? Could it be that maybe there is, there is something in your brain telling you that if you ate all this food, it would be crazy. It would be, it would be insane. It would be uncanny for most people to recognize that. And somehow you know that deep down in your psyche and it's telling you that it's wrong. So instead of just munching that shit down, you're going to preference it. You're going to have a disclaimer. You're going to tell people, no, I'm not going to eat all this right now, guys. I'm going to eat it throughout the day or I'm going to give it to somebody else, which... We know it's bullshit, dude. Becky has lied so many times about things that just don't even really even matter at all. I just, I never understood it. Oh, guys, uh, I didn't fill up my soda all the way. What are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean you didn't fill up your soda all the way? Who does that? Who goes to a restaurant and doesn't fill up the soda all the way? Oh, you know, I'm just trying to reduce calories. What are you talking about? Or her exercise videos where she says that she's exercises to try to lose weight. And the next following video is her going to like the cookie factory where she's eating 4,000 calories of cookies, which completely destroyed the, the working out, which really wasn't even working out. Like, I'm happy that Becky is moving, but I don't think she's actually moving because she wants to move. I think she's moving because people are telling her that she needs to move and that she doesn't have a long life expectancy, especially knowing that she's getting all these calories in, dude. But whatever, dude. I got an oasis to drink. No water. I, I just never, I never see Becky eat water. I, I never see her drink water. It's just, it's not a, not a thing on her menu. And anybody will tell you this. If you're somebody that's a serious liquid hydrationist, somebody that's going to domesticate their throat, you're going to use, you're going to use water. Water is the number one liquid when it comes to lubrification of your mouth. And I know that other things taste better taste better. Let's be honest here for a second. Water is the be all end all when it comes to the lubrification. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm always getting water no matter what the restaurant or whatever the place is. I don't even care if it costs a dollar. Like you go to some places, right? And you'll go, can I get a cup of water? And they'll go, yeah, you, we can get you that, but it's going to be a dollar. And I'm going, I know you're tapping it. Like I know I'm getting sink water. I'm, I'm getting all the amoebas. I know that I'm getting the crustaceans underneath the tap water. I, you don't think I know that you guys don't fill out your, you, you, you guys don't change out your filters, dude. Why are you charging me a dollar? Oh, you know the cup. You know how it is. And you looking at this dude like, mm, let me get a cup of ice. And like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here you go right here. It's the same shit. I don't give a fuck if you give me frozen water or regular water, dude. Sometimes I don't want to pay for it because it's like the, it's it's the thought of it, you know. It's the it's the it's the thought of whether or not this is appropriate given the scenario, right? I remember way back in the day when you can buy McChickens for one dollar, and that's how I used to base my entire ideology on life. I used to justify every purchase like that. I would go, oh man, I could buy this new PlayStation. Or I could buy 500 McChickens. And then that really puts things into, you know, it puts things into reality. You're really thinking about whether or not this is a good expense or maybe the 500 McChickens, you know. That's how I used to do everything in my life. Now, McChickens are like, depending on where you go, I've seen them upwards of $3, which is crazy. It's not even real meat. I don't even know it's in the McChicken, to be honest. I just knew that it was something that you could put in your mouth and it would fulfill your desire of whatever you were getting from McDonald's. And it was cheap. And it was cheap. So... You know, I know that I'm basically eating like, you know, like animal nipples and, and, and uh, Danny DeVito's foreskin or whatever it is inside those McChickens. But you can't lie to me. Those shits was good in your mouth. They tasted good in your mouth. But anyway, I don't even know what we're talking about. Thank you, Becky. You okay? Hmm. <laughs> But yeah, I went with the sweet chili because if you've tried the garlic mayhem, it's not very nice. I just want to know who's watching these videos for the reviews. Like, who's coming here to hear what Becky has to say about the food? Does anybody really care? I'm pretty sure the only people that come to Becky's videos at this point are just there to watch her eat these high denominations of food and go, Oh my god, that's just a lot of food! There's so many calories, Becky. How you have this much money? It's just people there that are just questioning how she has the money, the time, and the taste buds to intake the amount of food that she does. I don't think anybody's going there for the food reviews. And she doesn't really even review the food for the food. She just sits there and goes, Oh my god, guys, it is so good. It is banging. It tastes so amazing, guys. You have to get this. By the way, that's not a review. If somebody, can you imagine somebody reviewing anything in life? Like, oh yeah, guys, um, this new video game is good. Make sure you buy it. What the fuck, dude? Tell me about the video game. Tell me about the food. Give me the texture. Give me the flavor. Give me the consistency. Tell me about what the restaurant was like. Tell me about all that stuff. And can you please, for the love of God, put a little bit more energy in it, dude? 
Think about this. This person is probably consuming three, four, five times more calories than everybody else on the fucking planet. And yet their energy levels are like negative eight. How the hell are you so energy inefficient? You're carrying around so much extra energy and yet you don't portray that in any way in any of these videos, dude. Put up the energy level, okay, Becky? So it's just too easy for you to sit here and munch down on 4,000 calories a day while you're in your car. And then I know you're about to go into that same, the same place where your cousin's going to be dancing. And I know you're going to munch down another 2,000 calories. It's just like, give me a little something extra. Give me some more. So what is this? And before anyone comes at me, yes, I'm having a takeaway tea, but... I've got no time to cook. You know what, Becky? Sometimes, sometimes, you know what, Becky? You know what, dude? You know what, Becky? Sometimes you say some shit and it really fucking pisses me off. It really, it just makes me really angry. What You don't have time? You don't have time. You don't have time. You literally upload five, six, seven, eight, nine videos a day of you burning, just just burning holes in your pocket with the amount of money that you spent on this food and you have the audacity to sit there and tell me you didn't have the time? What are you talking about? What you mean you didn't have the time? What are you doing right now? You're just sitting in the car body slamming McDonald's. Is it what are you talking about? You couldn't have gone home and made a sandwich? You couldn't have gone home and made some food, put it in a Tupperware and put it in the back seat? It's not even that big of a deal. How long does it take to make a sandwich? Like three minutes? What are you talking? It's like no time at all, dude. It's nothing. There, it takes literally zero effort to make a sandwich. It takes, you could easily make all the food that you would have eaten, right? Hear me out for a second. How many, this woman will literally sit there and make a giant 18 course meal and eat that all at once instead of dividing it up and having individual meals. She could have easily took one of those, one out of the 18 course meals and put that to the side and ate that for later. You don't got Tupperware? I know you got Tupperware. I've seen you body slam it. The amount of Indians that you got, they give you the Tupperware. They give you those little containers and you're just tossing them away? You're not gonna like reuse those, dude? That's quality shit. You could easily reuse any of that shit. But no, of course. You don't got the time. I mean, what am I? I mean, f excuse me for watching your videos and seeing you laying down all day while you're body slamming your food, telling me that you're watching your TLC shows. And, you know, yeah, how could I personally thought you weren't doing shit throughout your day, but I guess you don't have the time. I guess you're you're strapped. You just you have no slack throughout the day. You know, obviously right now this woman is I mean, she's obviously not wasting any time right now. Right. Her sitting in the car while she's doing this. Right. Obviously. Right, Becky? Right? Right? Yes, I'm having a takeaway tea, but I've got no time to cook tonight. And if, even if I prepared something, by the time I got home, it's not going to be till about 10, half nine, 10. So what? What are you talking? You're a human being. You can go hours. You can go days without eating. What are you fucking talking about, dude? Even today. Even today, I ha it's it's like four. It's like four forty right now. Okay, I haven't eaten. Are you ready for this? I haven't eaten since ten. You know what that means? Six hours I haven't eaten, and I'm fine, Becky. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna just randomly implode. Nothing's gonna happen to you. You do understand that, right? You do know that you have extra calories on your body right now that are literally doing nothing that could sustain you throughout the day, right? You do know that, right? Your last meal is going to be the meal that sustains you throughout the, throughout the day. You do understand that. You don't need to eat. Five, six, seven times in a day and have in the, the periods in between that are like an hour or 25 minutes. So when you're sitting there and you're saying, oh, I, if I did do that, I wouldn't have been able to eat in between this. So? So? People do that all the time. People literally go, people eat once a day. A lot of people. Intermittent fasting, some people go the entire day, no food at all. And by the end of the day, they'll have their meal. And you're sitting here talking about some, even if I did, I would have, it would have took too long and... I would have eaten at the end of the day. That's okay. That's good. That's fine. That's really the goodest shit that I could possibly. That is actually okay. Instead of sitting there body washing, body slamming, all these thousands of calories. Just get it. Get out of my face, Becky. You're just saying shit at this point. You're just saying shit. And you know what? <laughs> just stop. Just stop. You know what? Just fucking stop. Just shut up. Just shut up, Becky. It's shut up, dude. I'm sick of you. I'm just sick of you making all these excuses trying to justify your big ass eating habits. That's fine if you want to body wash all this food. Just don't sit there and blame it on time. It's your fault. I feel like I prepared something. By the time I got home, it's not going to be till about 10, half nine, 10. 
She could have easily packed something, dude. It's not hard to pack food. I do it all the time. How? Just put it in the back seat. You get There's nothing else back there, right? You could easily just have your food just on the back seat or in the trunk or like in a... You could put it in a... How much money do you spend on food, dude? You don't have a cooler? You couldn't go on Amazon and buy a cooler for like $14? This meal alone probably cost that amount. You could have easily skipped out on one meal, which I know you're good for because you're eating like nine times a day. And you could have took that $14, ordered something off Amazon, had that shit come the same day and just make a sandwich or something. It would not have been that difficult, dude. Not even... It's not even good excuses. It's literally just the worst shit you could say. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> Who's coming here for this? These, you know, the people that watch Becky are the people that like watch pornography for the story. Like nobody does that. Like nobody's watching, nobody's going there for the poor acting and the poor dialogue and the terrible writing. Nobody's doing that, okay? People are like, why are we here? You know, what is the purpose? So yeah, Paige always pushes herself in these classes. She's so good at them. Could you, can you push yourself a little bit? Can you push yourself up some stairs or down the street without using a car? Can you, can you not, can you just take a day without using your car? Could you? Could you? Also guys, which nugget do you prefer? This shaped one or the circle one? I don't I think, think it I matters. Like it's fucking, it's a chicken nugget, dude. Nobody gives a fuck about chicken nuggets. I don't even know why you're questioning who has a favorite chicken nugget. Nobody's like that. No, we're not like you, Becky. Like, we're not out here judging the the shapeliness of a chicken nugget. I mean, I mean what are you even talking about? Who, who's even doing that shit? Who, who, how do you, why do you even have a favorite chicken nugget? Like, we're not gonna question that. One. Yum yum. Okay, yeah, true, true. Yum yum. Okay, so I've added out of breath immediately from getting out the car. <laughs> uh, immediately <sighs> out the car. Matt now, um, so yeah. Deep breaths. Uh, life is hard when you have to stand up. Hi. What's that say? Did you, Did you know it's National Nutella Day? No, Becky, I didn't know. I di I didn't know, and neither should have you. Uh, who who's telling you this stuff? You you know what? Uh, sad gray car. So or sad car, uh, you're a bad person. What are you doing? Why would you tell Becky this shit? You know she can't handle that. You know it's National Nutella Day. That's the fastest I've ever seen Becky move in my life, dude. Damn, bro, she was basically an Olympic sprinter right there. You saw those moves? Watch, watch the sidestep on the dog. You saw that? Like that? Whew, whew, right off to the side, you know dude. It's National Nutella Day. It kind of seems like her eyebrows should be like three inches lower. <laughs> You're not about to do that shit. You're not about to put that shit in your fucking mouth, dude. What? You, you, you're big back, but that's not that big. That's too big back for me. That's way too much big backness for me. Damn. Hi everyone, and welcome to my what eat in a day dance. Filters day working edition. overtime. So a lot of food was consumed in this video. Bro, okay, look. I know in the UK, you guys have like a culture around tanning, right? I understand that, but. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Becky, dude. I've been watching some of her most recent videos, dude. This orange tan is unnatural as fuck. This shit is literally uncanny. I, I, I don't know why it's so goddamn brown. I don't know why this shit is so fucking... And I know she tans. I watched the video of her saying that she tans and that she loves it and all this other stuff. Dude, it, it just doesn't look natural. Like, when you put your hand up to your face and your face is literally five times lighter than the rest of your body why why what are you doing dude that just looks weird to me am i wrong am i look look what is that why is it so dork started off with two and by the I way think... to preference that with yeah i consumed a lot of calories today i consumed a lot of food is crazy and then also by the way apple juice no no water no water no water apple juice so a lot of food was consumed in this video Started off with two sausage McMuffins, homemade ones. One had cheese on and one That's did. crazy as fuck to say homemade sausage McMuffins, dude. Yes, you got the McDonald's on your brain is crazy. Didn't. Dude, it, it literally looks like you put your hand inside like dirt and you just like moved your hand around like really, really fast. This would start your day with one of these. No, fill your no water either. Well, then I had some hula hoops, the original ones. Then a little bit later on, I had my pasta with some of the chicken that I got as well to put in it. I just wanted it plain today, so I had no sauce, but it was okay. really yummy. It really doesn't matter, to be honest. Like, it's great that you didn't put any sauce in it, but 
I mean, you did tell me you're gonna eat a lot of food today, so it almost doesn't even matter. Then I had some of my favorite Jaffa cakes. Oh, I love a Jaffa cake. Damn. Then I got an ice cream from the ice dude, cream. Dude, her hands are brown, dude. She got she got hands of a, a Puerto Rican like barber, dude. What is going on? Like, if you told me this was a different person's hand, I would believe you. Man, of course. I went with the Snickers. Oh, man, dude. Look at the... I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, dude. There's Becky got to do something about this shit, dude. It's too much. It's too much, dude. I got a problem with her food habits, but that tan is outrageous. That shit is ridiculous. You got to do something about that shit, Becky. God damn. And you got a fucking chocolate ice cream? This Snickers? One. These are always so much nicer in ice cream form. You don't need to eat that shit, though. Well, you're eating too much. Just because it's ice cream doesn't, need to need, doesn't mean it needs to go in your mouth. Then when I went back into the hall. Why you need this? Well, I got some of this old school sponge cake that one of the other troops was selling and it was really tasty. Really. Why are you just buying shit from people? Like somebody just had cake out and you were like, yo, let me get that real quick. What are you doing though? Like, do you need that shit? If I'm out, look, if I'm out in public and somebody got some cake or pizza or something like that, you know what I'm doing? I'm looking at it, oh, that's cool. And I walk off. I'm not going, yo, how much, uh, how much for the cake? How much for, how much for that cake right there? How much you, uh, how much you, I'm Becky. How much? How, I don't care. How much? I need that. Like, what are you doing, Becky? You don't need to buy the cake. You know that. It probably wasn't even for sale. You just walked up and you're like, yeah, I'll take that. I'm like, oh, sorry, no, it's not for sale. It's, you know, it's for my family. You know, sorry, it's not for sale. I'll take that. I'll take that. Sorry, it's not for sale. I'll take that. That's Becky. We enjoyed it. Then when I got God home, I had damn. a nice Indian. Got that time. Indian is the bane of her existence, bro. That Indian real deal be giving her too many calories, I feel like. That shit is really like the one. Anytime I ever see see her eat an Indian, that shit is always big. That shit is big as fuck. And she be filling her mouth with that shit. And pakoras, chips. Got Gotta get the chips. Chicken masala, papadums, naan, onion barge. Oh, it was amazing. Damn, what, what did you not get is the real question, bro. When Becky order on a menu, bro, you just gotta like basically... You know when you're scrolling through and you're about to delete something on an app and it says select all? That's basically what you got to do when you're when Becky calls up. You just go select all and you'll be like, all right, look, just tell me what you don't want. Like you're looking at the menu right now. Just tell me what you don't want and I'll know. Like obviously you don't want nothing with green on it. Uh, obviously the stuff with that's a little bit healthy. Water, obviously we don't want that. Just tell me what you don't want real quick. If you're wondering, is that a fat girl holding some brownies? <laughs> Becky, Becky got to calm down a little bit. She got to calm down a little bit, dude. That's a crazy ass shot. Hold up. Oh, it was amazing. Hold up. If you're... Look at this shit right here, bro. Is this what your your great great ancestors would have died for, bro? All those people that died in war, all those people that had to, you know, that died of like diarrhea or like, you know, your family members or whatever, dude. That sacrificed so much to make sure that you got here. Uh, you think that. <clears throat> You think that those people are looking down at you at heaven and going like, oh, this is beautiful. This is so great. I'm so grateful that Becky can live on this planet and eat these copious amounts of brownies. I don't even know what the fuck that shit is, but that's just kind of crazy, actually. God damn, that's a lot of fucking calories, but you know, it's great. You think anybody's saying that shit? No, they're looking at that shit going, hey, hey, you, you seen what Becky's doing yet? Oh my God, it's been so long since I've looked at Becky. Let me just go. <gasps> oh my God, Becky, what you doing? <gasps> Oh, you don't need to eat all that. That's a lot, Becky. Is it just for you? Oh my God. That's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. All your ancestors, all the people in your lineage, they're looking down at that and going, damn, that's more than I ate my whole life. And you just do it too consistently. Is that a fat girl holding some brownies? Then you're absolutely correct. <laughs> Hi everyone. So today I made bourbon brownies. I started off by putting some in the oven, just so it was easier to separate. I then lined them at the bottom of a tin, 18 in total. Damn. Took me a while to figure out where they were all going to fit. <laughs> then, it, it shouldn't take you that long, bro. I mean, you're literally putting them in in rows, but okay, Becky, whatever you say. I mean, what do you, what do you mean you're making bourbon brownies? It looks like they're already pre-made. How can you remake the pre-made? 18 in total. Took me a while to figure out where they were all going to fit. <laughs> Then to make the brownie mixture, I added in some butter, okay. 100 grams Damn. of salted one, 
200 grams of caster sugar and two tablespoons of golden syrup. Heated this up until it was all melted. I then added in the chocolate. I used dark chocolate. When that starts to melt, give it a mix. Damn. And it should be like velvety. I then crack two eggs into this. Like, can you imagine the only time that you don't go out to eat, you make shit like this? I just think that there's better stuff that we can probably put together. Like, I, I don't know why there's always this. Like, why are we putting the worst shit in our mouth? We don't need to always be having Mickey D's and, and double cooked brownies that are already pre-made. Why are you even doing this shit? Like... You're failing in ways that are inconceivable to most people. To sit here and make the pre-made brownies on top of more brownies is crazy, Becky. Mix them in and some vanilla extract. Once I did this, I added in. She doesn't have serving sizes is something I peeped. Is like when she says recipes, she's really just throwing shit into a pot and just going like, yeah, make sure you guys follow along. Even though there's like nothing there. I can't like, there's no measurement. She literally just tossed butter in a pan. I don't even know what kind of chocolate that was, where she got it, how much she used, what the quality of the chocolate was, none of that shit. When she said she poured in some vanilla, literally she just fucking oh, popped the cap and just poured in some fucking vanilla, dude. Like there's no measurements here. Like literally nobody's watching this shit to find out what the recipes are. They're just freeballing this shit. Like, there's nothing here. They, you can't even be bothered to look up a fucking recipe. You're just throwing shit in a pot. And 100 grams of plain flour. How is this 100 gram? Like, you? how do you know that? You're literally just pouring it from the bag. There's, like, no measurements in sight. You're literally just tossing it out. Like, it's... All right, whatever, dude. I guess... No, there is a scale. I guess. There is a scale. I then folded that into the mixture and topped it on my biscuit. <sighs> Who else is eating this? Who 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 else is eating this, Becky? Is this just for you? You this just for you? You made some chocolate brownie mix and you put them on top of chocolate brownies? Oh yeah. Alright. Uh, um <clears throat> uh, I gotta say something. Um I think that maybe you're you're going too far, Becky. I think that maybe we need to have an intervention. I think that maybe somebody is there nobody in your life that like there's nobody around you that think this is a bad thing. Like, you know, like, there's nobody... You got, you live with family, right? There's nobody around you that's going like, uh, Becky, I mean, it's cool that you're, um, that you're making this, but uh, uh, I think you got a problem. I think that this might be a little bit too much. Uh, you're doing this too frequently, too. Uh, you know, maybe once a month. Uh, you know, not every day. Not, uh, you know, how much money did you spend on that fast food from yesterday? Uh, 80 bucks or something like that. Um, uh, how many times you gonna do that? Like, that's kind of crazy. Like, nobody, nobody's saying anything about that. Like, nobody. All right. This, I mean, it's great that you have nobody in your life that's helping you out. It came out so perfect, if I do say so. I was absolutely buzzing. I it, you're buzzing over the food is, uh, I like food. I, I like eating food, but I just kind of feel like I wouldn't be excited or run through the kitchen and scream and yell and, you know, make double bourbon fudge brownies and be happy about it. I don't know. Like, it just kind of seems like you got different priorities. It just kind of seems like your priorities are a lot different than, like, most people's. And I don't know why you... <sighs> All right, you know. I let them cool before cutting them. And then they're ready to serve. For to serve to who, though? Your mouth? Like, who? how many people are eating this shit? Is it just your you you and your mouth? You, your mouth, your lips? Like, is that, a, is that everybody? You're like, oh, so, ha so happy everybody can be here. Me, my mouth, and my mouth. Like, oh, yeah, good looks, man. That's, is that, is that the people? It's one of my favorite biscuits. So what do you mean your favorite biscuits? You made this shit more than once? This just, this just something you eat regularly? This is not, this is not something you just threw together for the video? This is something you be making regularly? What you mean this is one of my favorites? Okay. I'm buzzing with these. Love you all. Hi everyone. So tonight for tea, I have got some burgers with some chips. So I've got my burgers there. Then I've got some bacon. Um, and I've also got some. Oh, I didn't put my cheese slices on. Oh, it's some onion. Oh yes, some onion, please, Catherine. I mean, she's just really preoccupied with the meat at that point. They're just tossing meat on the bun. Forget about the cheese. Forget about the onion, dude. We don't need shit from the ground. We need shit from the animals. 
My mom's made this tonight, bless her. So Just putting cheese on a patty like that is crazy, bro. Those beef patties look depressed. These things look like they're dehydrated, dude. They look like they've been sitting out for a while, man. That cheese ain't gonna melt. And cheese slices. Like, if you're able to pick up your bacon with your hands and just picking that shit up like this, like, yeah, I just put this bacon on top of my burger. I don't... What happened to it? What the fuck is... Why is it so dried the fuck out that you can pick it up? It's not hot either. Like, you just got cold-ass burgers with some cold-ass cheese on some cold-ass fucking bacon dude like what happened dude would you wait like eight wait how long has this shit been sitting out sis then some bacon just toss the bacon and on then there, you know? oh you're putting them on for me okay mm -hmm. at least some hot onions i think no, no. they look wet as fuck dude what the hell what are you boiling them shits in you're not supposed to boil onions bacon. some onions and two of them for you you got two for your mouth damn um, but these seeded buns I can do some, but it'll take a while. Oh, and I've got some cucumbers while it's gone inside. I'll show you all now. So it's not a takeaway. It's better than a takeaway. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Hi, everyone. It is takeaway night. Every night, takeaway night. I don't know why Becky even says shit, dude. Just say every night. Like, you know what it is? Just start the video. Just start the video like this. Have the bag, like, you know what it is? You know what it is. You know how I do it. You know the rules. This is my life. Christmas Eve edition, so I'm going to dish it out and show you what I've got. Got some poppadoms, of course, and I'll show you the chutneys now. We've got the red one. We've got some mint sauce. That is my favorite. I, and yeah, how many times have you heard her say that that shit's her favorite? Can we just be honest, man? I heard her say many sauces are her favorite, though. Of course, we've got some mango chut... Oh, no. More of that and some onions. And the sauces are killing you, dude. The sauces are adding, like, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of calories. Like, in that last Becky Jones video, when people were telling me that the sauces that she had... One one of the sauces was 700 calories for the ranch sauce is crazy, and she was just sitting there glazing it on the food. It's just crazy, bro. Like, people don't understand how many calories the sauces actually are, dude, because you're, you're not just drizzling one or two. No, Becky is killing it. She's literally slaughtering that shit in the, the copious amounts of sauces, and she does it all the time. Like, she can't not eat. You cannot put the sauces on there. Obviously, mango chutneys. Obviously, I don't know why. Obviously, Some onions but onions on my plate. What the fuck is that? And then I'll do my mint sauce in a minute. And um, also got a plain naan. I love plain naans from here. They're just so nice. Um, but yeah, got a plain naan. And we've got a lovely salad as That's well. That's good. So That's all right. Well, I, I fuck with that as well. We have. Yeah, you could you could have done a little bit more than that. I mean, I don't know what the fuck that. What, what do you even like? What is that like? A bite? Like, what do you? Is there more salad in that? Like, am I? What's in this? Oof. Some oh, damn, damn. Just when you thought, just when you thought our girl was about to have some quality food. Green bargies and these are absolutely delicious. Then I've got some chicken pakoras, and these are amazing from here. So I'm going to put some of them on. Uh huh. That's good. Well. That's good. That's good. Play That's good. Loaded already. Then I have some Damn. pila rice. How much? Oh my gosh. I always love it when it is yellow as well. So I'm just going to put some of that on. And next, I went oh. in strong with a chicken tikka. Damn, you put a lot. Bro, that was not as much rice as you. Look at she dropped it there, but then look and at the next, next shot. I went in strong with a chicken. She fucking dumped the rice right on the plate, dude. dude she fucking liar, bro. You don't think I could see the difference? Tika, oh, of course. But so just dump that, that on shit on her. there. Don't just dump it on, dude. I don't know why she's being so like dainty with it, dude. Just take that shit and just fucking dump it, dude. Whatever. It, 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 we've seen you eat this shit like a many times before. This is our favorite food. I've seen her eat this shit at least four or five times at this point. It's looking so good. I'm just gonna put some yeah. of my mint sauce over. Yeah, like you see what I'm talking about? Like in the previous shot, it wasn't Fluffins. that much, right? Look at this. Not that much, right? It's just a little drizzle on there. Oh, God. But then I'm just gonna... what the fuck is that? Dude, what did it multiply like by five? What are you doing, Becky? What are you do you not think that we can see that there's more on the plate compared to this to that? There's a lot, Becky. Put some of my mint sauce over. My... Damn! Oh, if I can actually open it. Again, I'm watch, this watch the watch the glaze. She says she's gonna put some. She says she's gonna put some, but then she ends up just dusting the whole thing right onto the food. Salad. Look at that. You're fucking, so like, you fucking. How you gonna be like? Yeah, I'm just gonna put some on there. Just fucking. What are you talking about? You can't be like I'm gonna put some 
and dump that shit 90 degrees down. Ears, and then I've got my sides there as well. And a full fat kind of coat. <sighs> Full coat too, kind of crazy, dude. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of a lot, Becky. Damn, Hello, even Ollie. your dog is judging you, looking at you, going like, "Damn, that's a lot." But yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your Christmas Eve and a lovely day tomorrow. I will be posting tomorrow. Isn't, well. it, isn't it kind of crazy that for like Christmas or holidays, people usually go all out and they usually get like the delicacies or eat a lot of food because it's you know it's holidays. You're not eating like this all the time. But for Becky, right? It's real interesting that the holiday food is basically her food year round. Like this woman is basically eating, this woman is basically eating Thanksgiving dinner every day. I mean, can we just, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but you can't just be body slamming Thanksgiving dinner every single day of your life. I mean, that kind of takes away from the whole celebration aspect of it. You're just body slamming at this point, hundreds and thousands of calories, and you're just going like, yeah, it's Christmas. I'm gonna eat the same shit I ate yesterday. I guess, I guess, Becky, but it, it kind of seems like you're devaluing the actual holiday. Birthday, of course, and um, but yeah, I love you all. I love you too. Mm. Hi everyone, so tonight for tea I have made pizza baguettes and garlic bread baguettes with some onion rings and some salad, so let me show you. So here are my- Becky, a look, dude, okay? I don't know where you find these ideas from, dude. Who the fuck is telling you about this shit? I don't know anything about this, bro. You didn't need to go all this this way. Like, there's a lot. Bro, what is that? Um, Three? Three of them things? What is this? Can you chop up the fucking onions a little bit, dude? I'm not going to be grabbing some salad and take like a full mouthful of onion in my throat. You couldn't chop up the onions, bro? God damn. What the fuck is this? Is that the onion? What is this? Becky, what is this? God damn! Pizza baguettes that I made. We've got a little salad. I Dude, you put no effort into this fucking salad. You just you just found shit in your fridge that was probably about to expire and you just threw it in there. The onions are literal dude, this shit is still a full onion right here. Put some fucking effort in, Becky. Come on, dude. Cheese, so it's not a Greek salad. Onion rings and the garlic bread. Why you need more garlic bread, dude? You literally already had the pizza baguettes. What the fuck are you doing? Why you need that too? I made as well, and some aioli sauce, so let's dish out. Wait, I'm sorry, hold up, what was that? Onion rings and the garlic bread that I made as well, and some aioli sauce, so let's- Some aioli sauce? Help me. Dish it out together. I am absolutely- What you mean dish it out? It's just you. It's just you. They sweating in this kitchen. <laughs> It's so warm. Right, so first of all, um... It's probably like 35 fucking degrees Fahrenheit in there, right, dude? It's like, it don't matter. When you're that big, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard not to sweat. It's so warm. Right, so first of all... Damn, that plate big as fuck. Damn, look at the size of that shit. It's big, man. That shit is fucking big as fuck. Damn, bro. That shit's like the size of my sternum. God damn, Becky. Well, um, pizza. We'll go for this one that's like perfectly placed the pepper. Damn, that, Becky, that's a big ass plate and that shit just perfectly fattened. <laughs> um, and then we've got garlic bread. I have to cut them in half, I think, to actually fit <laughs> on the plate. Some onion. How the fuck is that shit bigger than a plate, bro? That's how you know you got a fucking problem. That plate is already ginormous. And then you put the garlic bread on there like, I'm gonna have to cut this in half. It's kind of a little bit too big. Rings. Why don't you just take the plate of the, uh, the, the onion rings up to your room, dude? We all know nobody else is eating this shit. Like, it's just you. Just nobody, like, el nobody else would dare to put their mouth on this shit. Quick and easy. Damn. That's enough onion rings for me. And then my salad. Just throw it away as well just toss that shit away you don't need that shit i mean it don't really matter at this point dude fuck it <laughs> sorry guys you won't be able to see the plate i'm just gonna actually just move that back there we go so i've got cherry tomatoes onions what and... are you even picking this shit up with like the other uh, like are you picking it up with scissors that have been torn apart why do these things look so flimsy and so thin and red onion and some cucumber what are you all having for tea tonight and you've definitely, if you um, want a quick and easy, like, summery tea, this is quite, this is really easy and really quick. What you mean, what? This is quick and easy? 
a sandwich would be quick and easy. This is quick and easy? Bro, you made a, you made a garlic bread pizza, three of them. You made three individual garlic breads, and you put together a slop-ass salad. And Oh, and the ranch sauce, whatever the fuck that shit was. And you think this is quick and easy? I just kind of think that you don't understand what quick and easy means. You did say earlier that you didn't have the time to put this shit together. If you think this is quick and easy, I would love to know what you think takes long. Because this shit would probably take like literally 30 to 45 minutes to put this shit together. Not even to mention the amount of time that you have to cook that shit. I, what are you even saying right now? Do you even understand the words that are coming out of your own mouth? So I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna pop nobody is nobody's cooking. You didn't even tell us how to cook this shit. You're just like, oh yeah, you know... Make sure you put this shit in your mouth, too. I mean, I don't know how the fuck I made it, to be honest, but, uh, yeah, make sure you cook that shit. It'll probably taste good in your mouth, too, right? A dollop of my aioli sauce. Damn! Yeah, what you talking about? That shit was big as fuck! So, I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna pop a dollop of my aioli sauce. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! Becky! Becky, that's just a, that's just like more, that's like half the fucking container. God damn, Becky, dude. You gotta calm the fuck down, dude. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. You trolling me, Becky. What the fuck are you doing with that? What is that? God damn, Becky, that's a lot. Holy. Pause right there. Right where? There we go. Let me show is you. anybody gonna have any more of that? Are you, is that the drink? Yeah. So. so here we have it quick and easy uh, uh, you just don't understand what quick and easy is that's just crazy as fuck becky that's just insane um i hope it tastes nice so let's go and tuck in let's start off with cucumber oh, cucumber can't, can't really fuck up cucumbers i mean they're 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 you know they're cucumbers mm. Mm. onion ring mm. This is literally just like a baguette. Pizza. You didn't even get the first. We didn't even get the first fucking bite. You already munched that shit before we even saw it, dude. You couldn't even give us that first bite. Can't do anything right, Becky. Can't do fucking shit right, man. Sauce, cheese, and um, pepperoni. Big ass pepperoni too. Damn. Let's try some of the garlic bread. It's just garlic bread. It's just bread with some garlic on butter on there. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I can do for today. I, I mean, what do you want? Like that, was that not sufficient? Was that not too much? Like that was, that's a fucking lot. That's a real big amount. So when you, all right, man, I mean, whatever, dude. <sighs> Becky's, uh, Becky's a beautiful person. I love her. She's great. She's amazing. But sometimes I look at her and I go, that's, uh, I don't know how long you got if you're going to continue like that. She just, I, I guess she doesn't think it's a big deal but it is it's a lot it's a fucking ton but anyway guys uh yeah we're gonna end the video here if you enjoyed today's video i'd appreciate if everybody could uh leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video i'd really appreciate it thank you i mean you gotta understand what i just had to go through in order to watch that shit becky videos my blood pressure is like high is really big right now i got big i got big blood pressure but anyway um if you watch the video in its entirety leave it down below by typing in big B-W-I-G, Bwig, Bwig. I love you. I care about you a lot. You're a beautiful, amazing, spectacular person. I really care about you. Thank you for watching today's video. You are you really are the keys to my entire uh, love, uh, all of it. You just make me feel so great. You make me feel so beautiful. I have a star patch on. Anybody that questions it, it's an acne patch. I have a pimple right there on the side of my face. Yes, I forgot to put on deodorant. Okay, what do you want? All right, what do you fucking want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is is lubrification, but I'm hydrated. I I have been drinking water. I have been drinking water. Watch me drink it. Watch me drink it. Oh. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If uh you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the, the description of the video. Uh I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.